Hey everybody, one of Weezum here. It is Monday, October 14th, 2013. Happy Thanksgiving to those of you in Canada. Uh, happy Columbus Day for those of you in America, although I don't think there's much that really goes on anymore. Uh, that said, uh, you either got the day off and got to enjoy Skylanders again, you're still waiting for it if you're uh, overseas, or uh, you probably called in sick or something. Uh, and for everyone else, you went to work, stuck it up, and you've probably looked forward to getting off or getting home from school all day. That said, uh, one of the things we've covered the console starter packs now. We got the Wii U edition, was the first we unboxed, then the Dark Edition, which is exclusive to GameStop. Uh, there is no Dark Edition for the uh, 3DS. I kind of thought it'd be cool if there was. Uh, did not happen. Um, didn't really have anything special to go on, but uh, as usual, it does have an exclusive character, which is Volcanic Eruptor. Kind of get a feel for what he's going to look like there. Uh, that said, I picked this up at my local GameStop. I'd pre-ordered it way back in the day. Uh, put the deposit down anyway because I kept thinking there might be something special come. Uh, reason I went ahead and pre-ordered is... I forgot to showcase this with the Dark Edition, but Lightcore Hex. Uh, you know, I could see her becoming common shelf fodder, or I could see it being ridiculously hard to find or didn't know. Uh, went ahead and uh, did the two pre-orders, that way I've got two of her. That said, this again, $74.99, got it at GameStop. Uh, it is for the 3DS, of course. I have been looking forward to this uh, for a long time, but primarily since E3. Uh, if you recall, I got to run out there, uh, you know, Los Angeles, go to E3, in the Activision booth. Uh, there's a really cool dude back there. Uh, most people, you know, were focusing on the 360 PS3 stuff or, you know, just recording console gameplay, essentially. I kind of focused on the figures, asked as many questions as I could, and one of the things that I did do was go to the 3DS corner. It was kind of there in the back, and... Uh, the guy was really cool, he was super knowledgeable, he kind of was into Skylanders, wound up being a game tester. And I brought back, I said this is one of the biggest things, I've talked about it for a long time, but they've added an inventory, uh, kind of like you have in the iOS games, to the 3DS. Uh, the biggest drawback for me on the 3DS versions has honestly been, there I am in SSA, uh, I've got the two characters loaded, you know, you're on the road at a hotel, uh, whatever the case may be and you need two characters you know you get the daily bonus essentially you might have like a elemental area and a level that's earth and fire and you've got magic and life uh, you needed the portal uh, it's a cool sequence you know I'll give it that it's kinda neat to use the infrared and everything but uh, the bottom line is it would have been much much easier and far superior if we could just you know use the touch screen the lower end of the 3DS you know, and tr -tr -tr set everything up. That's what they've done. And uh, I cannot stress enough how big of an improvement that is. It, you know, this game could potentially be the worst of the three, and it would still be a marked, a marked huge improvement. Uh, again, anyone that plays the 3DS, you're going to know what I'm talking about, and I think this is something you're going to appreciate. Basically, all you have to do when you get a new character scan them in the game and then they'll always be there for you. Uh, essentially I'm going to go in uh, probably after this unboxing or tomorrow sometime when I'm you know got stuff editing and then another video uploading I'll come in and I'm just going to sit here and put my entire collection in and uh, that will make this much much more enjoyable. That's really the big selling point to me and then of course the fact you get the exclusive character, you get two uh, completely different uh, Swap Force characters from your starter pack. And, uh, again, there's still people that don't realize this, but the 3DS version, not only in Swap Force, but in Giants and Spiral's Adventure, totally different game. Uh, the storyline's different, the enemies are different, I mean, every aspect is different. So it's not like you're buying, you know, another version of the game ported to just get an extra character. It's money well spent, it's a different adventure, it'll extend your playtime, all the characters are playable. Uh, just really a nice setup. Uh, if you don't have a 3DS, I've said this pretty much every time I do anything 3DS related, pick one up. 
you will not regret it. It actually has one of the best game libraries uh, that I can think of. Primarily, you've got years and years of the DS and then the 3DS's exclusive titles, which have come out at a much faster pace than things for the Wii U. So uh, keep that in mind. Plus, Club Nintendo people, again, I stress this every time. I skimmed through there the other night and uh, check and see, you know, if what was coming out, what I could, you know, pre-register for, etc. This is good for 80 uh, coins, so that's going to be pretty sweet. That's just the product registration. Uh, that said, we're going to go ahead and take a look here. Uh, there's our Skylander Swap Force logo. We've got Ninja Stealth Elf, Magnet Charge, Washbuckler, uh, Bumble Blast, and then Series 3 Big Bang Trigger Happy. Check it out, though, here. New game and portal included. Choose your Skyliner. They highlight the exclusive volcanic eruptor. Uh, he joins the ranks with, of course, uh, Punch Pop Fizz from Giants and Dark Spiral. Uh, the original Dark Spiral, I guess we need to say now, since they chose to call Dark Megaram Spiral Dark Spiral. Um, but that's really a big draw to the 3DS. You get that special exclusive character. Uh, then, of course, we have the game, uh, bring the characters to life. Uh, there is, of course, our Volcanic Eruptor. That's really the highlight for non-3DS people. Some of you go out and buy this and then just sell the game and the other two characters. Or, You know, in the case of Rattleshake and Free Ranger, I don't think you can go wrong because that'll give you a second character to take down the upgrade path. People always ask, what are your buying plans? reason I cranked out those videos and blog posts beforehand, even though I was extremely busy, the Nitro Magna Charge packs at Target. You can get Nitro Magna Charge, an Alt Deco version of Magna Charge, and he can come packaged either with Rattleshake or Free Ranger. Uh, of course, in your standard um, console starter packs, you get Washbuckler and Blast Zone. So essentially, if you get a console starter pack in this one, you've already got four of the swappers. Uh, Issue is Nitro Magna Charge is not singular, you know, not available as a single pack. So you have to pick Free Ranger or Rattleshake. People have asked, why did you pick Rattleshake? You should have got Free Ranger, yada yada. Number one, I think they're both going to be great. I haven't played them, so I can't really put any, uh, you know, expertise in there. But what I did know, Free Ranger has a legendary version. Rattleshake does not. Rattleshake, to me, is someone that would make a really really good you know exclusive character you know think along the lines of your polar whirlwinds scarlet and genies etc basically you know an in-game variant uh don't know that it's going to happen but it's very well could i could just see that going over well um if that happens you know you just have to bite the bullet but i would rather in the event that it doesn't happen have my two rattle shakes and then the two free rangers via legendary in this guy uh, so that was my logic. Keep that in mind if uh, you're not into the alt decos or you're not interested in Nitro Magna Charge because you don't like the looks of them. Uh, this is a great setup because you've got your console starters with Washbuckler Magna Charge. Now this adds two more. So keep that in mind. Plus, of course, Volcanic Eruptor. Even if you're not an Eruptor fan at this point in time, it's a special one. It's exclusive to the 3DS. It won't be offered later on, uh, you know, maybe overseas in a single pack or something crazy. But uh, um, this is your best bang for the buck to get him. And then the fact that you get these two, you know, it kind of makes it what 30, 45 bucks. And you've got the game and the portal if you don't have a 3DS. But again, my advice: save up, get the 3DS. But that is the front of the box and kind of your. Uh, Different reasons you can use to justify your purchase or request it for a gift, what have you. Uh, top side, we just got the Swap Force logo. Coming around to the side, we have, of course, betting that uh, that little square on the 3DS, you know, side of the box is going to be what we see on the side of the game case as well, showcasing Volcanic Eruptor. Here's the Swap Force logo, also available. Expand your gameplay experience adventure packs. That is, of course, the Tower of Time. You can see what it comes with there. Battle packs, this one highlights the Fiery Forge, which, of course, includes Bumble Blast and Series 3 Knockout Terrapin. As you might have guessed, the adventure packs and battle packs are sold separately. Uh, coming around to the back side, we've got our story on the uh, you know Swap Force game. Embark on an exciting new adventure with the Skylanders and the Swap Force. 
For generations, these swap force protected the volcano that replenishes Skyland's magic. That is until an epic battle caught them in an eruption that blasted them apart, sent them to Earth, and gave them the ability to swap powers. Only you can mix and match the tops and bottoms, put them on the new portal of power, and save Skylands. In the Nintendo 3DS game, experience a whole new 3D adventure with your Skylanders. Uh, so that's cool. Again, swappable, unstoppable. I don't use the 3D feature much. Uh, some people rave about it. Some people don't care. I'm more concerned about the gameplay. Uh, what I saw at E3, I think it looked like it's going to be a lot of fun. More importantly, it's just going to be so easy to switch between characters. Uh, this time around, what's cool here, instead of having Washbuckler and Blast Zone like you see featured everywhere else on packages and single packs and what have you, this actually uses the 3DS starter pack characters. So, right here, uh, they've got the top end of Rattle Shake, bottom end of Free Ranger to create a Rattle Ranger. That would actually be a pretty interesting combination. Uh, there's a new portal of power, there's some artwork on Rattle Shake. Coming up top, we've got what we just showed you, Rattle Shake plus Free Ranger creates Rattle Ranger. You see him there on the portal of power, then more importantly, actually see him there in the game. That is Free Ranger's bottom end, it's just not in the tornado form at that point in time. Uh, checking out these screen caps here, Embark on a new 3D adventure. Pretty cool shot of Rattle Shake. Uh, even the box art, you know, insets have looked really cool. Uh, there you see Free Ranger conquer new swap zone challenges. Then we've got Explore New Magical Worlds, and lastly, Battle to Save Skylands. There, of course, Volcanic Eruptor. He will appear like that in the game. That's one of the cool things. Again, uh, just along the lines of Punch Pop, his Dark Spiral, the original Dark Spiral again. Uh, features. Place the Skylanders on the new Portal of Power to bring them to life. Swap Force. Gain new powers and abilities by mixing and matching Swap Force Skylanders. Light Core. Light Core Skylanders light up when placed on the Portal of Power. Of course, you also get your, uh, you know, Flash Palm effect. Uh, series 2. The Series 2 Skylanders are back and better than ever. And, of course, Series 3, which conveniently has an Eruptor. Uh, series 3 Skylanders have upgraded powers and abilities, namely a new WoW Pile. Uh, lastly, the Skylanders have brains and remember their upgrades. Again, if you play here... And translate across the console version, etc. Uh, 55 Skylanders to collect. What they highlight here for us is the life, air, fire, and undead elements. Uh, note from the air element, we've got Free Ranger here. From the undead element, we've got Rattle Shake. And then in the fire element, although he is not listed, we have Volcanic Eruptor. Looks a lot like, I mean, it's the exact same thing as Lava Bar for Eruptor. It's actually just, you know, the alternate paint. It will appear that way in the game. Uh, with that said, that's the bottom. We never really focus much there. Even in my videos, we don't focus much on the bottom. Uh, the tape, if you can see it, right there is just kind of that little clear. I think you can see it. You probably don't care. I'm going to go ahead and cut it. Uh, again, don't go too deep. You don't want to slice and dice anything in there. But, uh, we actually didn't do this. So. Alright, so uh, starter pack included inside, obviously your video game, which inside that game case you're going to have your Club Nintendo code for your 80 coins. Character poster, uh, not sure it can compete with what we just saw from the Dark Edition, but we will take it nonetheless. New Portal of Power, I'm thinking this one ought to be scaled down a little, we'll have to compare it. Uh, your trading cards, three Skylander figures. And of course, sticker sheets with secret codes. So, let's go ahead and open this up, see what we've got. Chase McCain will be hiding in all these videos, by the way. Uh, when we open it up, this is what you see. We're going to go ahead and uh, pull out the game itself. Uh, very nice. Essentially the same artwork that we see on the Wii U version, all console versions, really. Coming around here to the back side, pretty cool. Uh, again, I won't read that to you again. It's the exact same thing that we saw on the back of the box, uh, pretty much to a T. However, right there, Night Shift Thornhorn Camo, he is Series 2. Can't stress that enough. Lava Bar for Ruptor, Countdown, Free Ranger, Light Core Star Strike, Riptide, and Knockout Terrifying. Uh, coming back over here, we've got a pretty cool shot on the cliff. Those are all swappers. Uh, left to right, Stink Bomb, Washbuckler, Free Ranger, uh, centered there with his, uh, you know, gears. 
or blades I should say blast zone up above and a freeze blade right there uh, let's go ahead and let me make sure that Club Nintendo thing isn't facing out it is I want to move that away so uh, people don't take my code I'll actually have it entered beforehand but that's what your game case looks like or the game card, cartridge, whatever you want to call them. Uh, real plain, real simple. Again, no instruction manuals, nothing fancy here in the windows, but, uh, you know, it's what's on the inside of the game card, I suppose, that matters. So, uh, continuing on, doesn't look like we have anything to worry about on that side. So, we're going to slide this out. Here it comes. And there it goes. So, I'll set the box down to the side here. Trying to get eyebrow to cooperate. Everything's gonna fall. Luckily, you can't see it, and it didn't happen, so there's not that sound that makes me look like an idiot. Uh, right here, this is basically what you have inside. Uh, on the back side, we've got our web codes here, the stickers. Poster looks to be tucked up in there as well. Let me go ahead and. Man, this adhesive they use this time is really uh, a lot stronger than what we saw in the Giants. Got that off, so we will uh, contend with that here. Sure. Let's go ahead and open it up. I'm going to pull out these sticker sheets, so uh, like I said, I hate doing it, but there's people that will actually watch these types of videos and take the codes. So, uh... Let me show them to you anyway, um, just with my thumb over everything. Right there is Rattle Shake. These are the big full-size Swap 4 stickers. You can see that parting line, so you can kind of customize them. There's a QR code, then the name. Uh, Free Ranger, same way. You can kind of see the part line there in the middle. And lastly, this is the regular size, but it is Volcanic Eruptor. Uh, very cool setup there. Set these down to the side. We'll take a look at the cards when we actually look at the characters. Uh, coming in, first thing you will note, if you are cheap like me, batteries are included. Thank you. Uh, three AAA. Again, it'd kind of be cool if there was two of them. But uh, I guess this thing's pretty uh, demanding on power. Let's see if we can get the uh, portal out here. Note that they've got the sensor. It's much larger than previous 3DS portal. It used to be just like this tiny little diamond slot looking thing. So um, probably make it easier for everybody to scan everything in. Alright, so just a little pressure. Uh, the battery door is going to be with a screw, not a thumb. Again, that's inconvenient. But the fact of the matter is they probably anticipate people breaking that tab and then you don't have the door. So, well, the screw is actually a better deal. Very light portal. If you do travel with it, this is fractions of the weight of the wired portal from the console starter packs. In fact, move light core hex, move the dark edition game. Here's this one. Actually, this one's pretty light too. I think the cord weighs more than the portal, but this is the console version's portal. This is the 3DS's portal, so you get the idea that it actually looks like a layer cake. Uh, <laughs> if anyone cares, uh, that would be a really sweet. I know the Skylanders game Twitter account and all their social media actually goes through and, you know, like, does everyone's uh, cake pictures and everything. Uh, that would be awesome. Uh, you'd almost... Uh, you almost have to have like two Skylander freaks married to justify something this extravagant, but I mean, you get the idea, it could be really cool. Uh, then each of these arched windows, you could have like a character inset or something. Uh, if anyone does that, email it to me. I will put it on the blog, I'll get it out on Twitter, share it with everyone, uh, and your cake might become famous. <laughs> so, here it is, this is uh, pretty simple, it looks like, I'm guessing we'll just tap it again. Uh, right back here, Mr. Chaos, we'll get him and his exclusive Monopoly piece off. This was the Giant's Glow-in-the-Dark portal. Noticeably heavier than this one. Uh, roughly about the same circumference. This one's a little more streamlined in height, I'd say just hardly any smaller. Uh, comparing the size windows there, again, what I mentioned, that's just kind of this like thin diamond slots, what I call, that green arrow indicates it. This one's got a white arrow right there, but a much larger sensor, so I think that'll be appreciated. Uh, let's go ahead and get Chaos back out of the way. 
all right so we've got the portal pretty well covered we'll set it down now um what do we want to start with I guess I can leave the batteries uh There's rattle. Uh, very cool. We'll put them together. Take a detailed look. There's shake. Well, the good news is, unlike giants or light core characters, you know these are special and neat, but we don't have to worry about like ripping up some wiring or lighting effect. Uh, they're also packaged extremely well. They're really, really tight in here, which is good. You don't want them damaged and chipping. Uh, it just makes it kind of complicated for the end user for a brief moment in time. All I'm trying to avoid is like breaking something else. Good lord, there's free. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's a bit ironic there. Uh, here comes Ranger. I don't know if we're gonna get him out of that. Okay, well, uh, the issue again there is I mean, I actually value these, I don't want to like break them. Uh, <laughs> Note to anyone that's going to pick this up, it will take a little bit of effort. That clicking sound was free ranger going together. Move this one back, and that sound is rattle shake. So, let's see how hard it is to get to volcanic eruptions. Not near as hard as the uh, swampers. Uh, he looks pretty sweet. We'll go over those guys' details here shortly. Uh, what do we want to do here? Let's start with Free Ranger, I guess. Let me go ahead and uh, pull up his background story for you. Uh, we'll look at his card first. Uh, power 115 of 200. Defense or armor 150 of 200. Agility 105 of 200. Luck 90 of 200. Uh, that's going to come out to be 365, 370, what, 460, I think, out of 800. So uh, pretty impressive stats there. Looks really cool. Uh, that's kind of like a, a lightning bolt, which is fitting given his powers. Bottom end, anytime there's something weather-related, this goes back to my heydays with Warnado. Uh, I am going to be a fan. That looks really, really good. Uh, and, of course, this is Free Ranger. Let's you take a look at him. Well, uh, Free Ranger was hatched during a storm when a thunderous bolt of lightning struck his egg. From that very moment, his destiny was clear. He would become the greatest storm chaser ever known. Uh, very, very cool. Again, if we have any weather buffs like myself, you will probably appreciate the background story. And that, in fact, tends to usually make you be a little partial to the character. Uh, let's see here. He spent his entire life pursuing hurricanes, spinning inside tornadoes, and riding lightning. But a day came when he encountered a storm unlike any other. It was unnatural and ominous, billowing with evil and leaving only desolation in its wake. Free Ranger was standing at its edge, moments from boldly leaping into it, when he was stopped by none other than Master Eon. The wise portal master told him that it was the darkness that raged before them, and if it were up to the challenge, he could join the Skylanders to help defend against it in the Cloud Break Islands. So, very cool uh, story there, at least in my opinion. Again, nice detail here. You can kind of see him hinging at the waist. The magnets work really well on these. Uh, very impressed. This is kind of like a translucent tornado. Uh, it's kind of got, you know, the debris cloud, the darker outer circles, uh, the vortex. Uh, really nice detail on the back side. You can kind of see like that little uh, satchel there with the air element logo. Uh, that's always nice little details there. Again, the top side, the way that lightning bolt comes out, very nicely done. Uh, it's kind of like a uh, light royal blue, I'd say, if that makes sense. Again, gold trimmings here. And again, I don't object to that too much because it actually looks good. Uh, very nice. Again, a part. This is free. This is Ranger. Uh, we will leave it at that.
Next up, we have Rattleshake. I've been really looking forward to this guy. Uh, we'll start in with, uh, I guess, his card. We'll keep him in the same order here. He's, of course, Swap Force Undead Element. Uh, power 85 of 200. Armor 100 of 200. Agility, uh, surprisingly, 145 of 200. And then Luck 130 of 200. That's going to combine to give him, what, 345, 375, 380, 460, just like Free Ranger. Uh, so that's pretty impressive. Uh, he's got a pretty cool story as well. Uh, a lot of times when we first saw this guy, a lot of us were thinking that he should be Earth Element. Uh, you know, I said it would probably come down to whatever goes on. You know, with his powers, it'll make sense, hopefully. Uh... Some say Rattleshake was the best tracker in the Cloud Break Islands. Others say he could strike the center of a gold coin at a thousand paces. But the legend of Rattleshake was immortalized when he found himself trapped by the Black Hat Gang, the infamous group of cowboys who literally were large cows. And evil ones at that, they threatened to plunder the local village unless Rattleshake led them inside the magical volcano Mount Cloud Break, where they hoped to discover enchanted treasures. Badly outnumbered, the Evercom Rattleshake magically summoned every snake in the area and overtook the notorious bovines in one epic showdown. The tale of his heroism was heard by Master Eon, who, as you guessed, recruited him and he became a Skylander. Uh, Rattleshake looks really cool. Uh, you've probably seen some of the B-roll stuff. You know, he's got the bounce abilities and some of the swap zones. Really well detailed here. It is almost like a snake skin. Uh, he is undead. He's sitting on the skull. I kind of etched it out for him. Very nice. Uh, note on the belt, you've got the undead element logo. Uh, also of note, he is squinting. That's because he's aiming his snake at you. You can shoot some snake venom, venom among other things. Uh, kind of got the gun barrel and he pulls back on the snake, I guess, to induce uh, the strain of venom, venom that is released. Here on the back side, he's kind of got the, uh, even on the arms, he's got the snake skin. Uh, feels rough, it's very, very cool. He's kind of got the Crocodile Dundee Outback Hunter vibe going on with the hat. I think it works well for him. Uh, since we've got these two guys out, Free Ranger on my left, Rattleshake on the right. Let's take them apart again. You saw how easy that was with just thumb and index finger. We're going to swap them. And what that gives us right here, Rattle Ranger. That actually, again, I set it based on the back of the uh, box. Looks like it's going to be an interesting combination. I'm looking forward to it. There's what that would look like from the back side. And then right here, Free Shake, which I bet a bunch of people are going to get their tongue tied and say Free Snake. Uh, doesn't look bad either. This is just a lot of fun. Again, watch how simple these are to swap. I'm just going to place my thumb and uh, middle finger this time. Just simply lift up, again, thumb and index here. Come back in. Put them back together. And it's as easy as that. It's much easier without a camera blocking your way. <laughs> so you get the general idea. Uh, very impressed with those two guys. I think they're going to be a lot of fun. We'll set them to the side. That leaves us with Volcanic Eruptor. Uh, he looks really, really sinister. A bit burned. Uh, hot-tempered, whatever you want to call it. Uh, got that classic, unmistakable Eruptor look going on. Of course, he's kind of like their trademark for the Series 3 logos. But Volcanic Eruptor is essentially Lava Barf Eruptor recolored catches. He will appear just like this in-game. Uh, my opinion, it's a fitting look for him. Uh, He's not a hugely popular guy, but it's one of those Skylanders. He's been there since the beginning. I think people have grown to kind of love him. Uh, it's one of those things you'd hate to see him go. But uh, let's take a look at his stats here real quick. Again, the card is customized to that notion. Uh, power, 110 of 200. Armor, 95 of 200. Uh, agility, 35 of 200. And Luck, 70 of 200. That's going to put him at uh, 205, 243, 10 of 800. Fairly respectable numbers there. Uh, let's go ahead. Uh, should know his story. We'll go ahead and recap it anyway. Uh, it's one of those things that never really gets old, I suppose. Eruptor is a force of, force of nature hailing from a species that leave, lived deep in the underground of a floating volcanic island until a massive eruption launched their entire civilization to surface. He's a complete hothead, 
Bet you didn't see that one coming. Uh, steaming, fuming, and quite literally erupting over almost anything. To help control the temper, he likes to relax in lava pools, particularly because there are no crowds. I can definitely relate to that. I could only imagine uh, the rage erupter would have shown when he tried to get enchanted hoot loop at Walmart. That said, uh, I think I have that here. His new wow pal. This is actually fitting. It's kind of just like a step up from the last one. Literally, it's called uh, Lava Barf 2. Barf Harder. Press attack 3 to release magma balls, then hold attack 3 to eat them and immediately barf them back for extra damage. Barf Harder is a tricky ability to master. You can't use this ability if an enemy is near you. You need a few seconds for the ability to charge and the magma balls land a short distance away. Any close enemies can stop you, and even if they fail, the attack will sail harmlessly over them. On a positive note, the spots where the lava ball lands burn for a time and damage enemies that touch them. So, uh, we'll have to see. I guess that's one of those things you kind of have to play it to get a real feel for it. Uh, nonetheless, very cool look here. I think I've got... Let me uh, drop down over here. There we go. That's what I want to show you. Once we get these unboxed, we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison. But that's Series 3 Lava Barf Eruptor, Born to Burn, of course, the slogan. Right here, Volcanic Eruptor. You get the idea comparing the two. Can't go wrong with the red and orange. However, this is, I guess, what they collectively refer to now as the Alt Deco. Uh, and the bottom line, it's exclusive to the 3DS version. So, uh, I have to say, I am a fan. That is pretty much it. I believe we've got the poster, though, we need to go over. Um, it was included, of course, in the same package as the instructions that we're not going to go over. And then, of course, our uh, stat cards, web codes, everything like that on the sticker sheet. This was I'm trying to think where I put the others, but uh, this is the poster you get. Skyliner Swap Force, it's fairly good size, not anything near as crazy as the Dark Edition. Ninja Stealth Elf Countdown, we got Blast Buckler there. Um, Rattle Shake up top, Hoot Loop, Magna Charge, it's getting hard to film. Uh, wash Zone there, then we got Bumble Blast, Mega Ram Spyro. I guess I'll go over this in case some of you don't really do the console, you're just a 3DS person, that way you'll kind of know what you can get. Uh, Magic Element, Light Core, Star Strike, Mega Ram, Spyro, Series 3, Series 2, Super Gold, Pop Fizz, brand new, uh, New Landers, if you will, the Swap Force, Dune Bug, and Star Strike. Magic Element Swappers are going to be Trap, Shadow, and Hoot Loop. Water Element, Light Core, Wham Shell, he's back, hopefully going to be easy to find for everyone. Uh, series 3, Anchor Away, Gilgrunt. Series 2, Blizzard Chill. New Landers to the Water Element. I think they're going to be quite the dynamic duo. Riptide and Punk Shock. In the Tech Element, Light Core Countdown looks really awesome. Uh, Big Bang Trigger Happy ties in nicely with Countdown, in my opinion. Uh, he's, of course, Series 3. Series 2, Heavy Duty Sprocket. Two New Landers, of course, regular Countdown there on the end, and then right before him, Wind Up. Earth Element, my personal favorite element. Got Light Core Flashwing, Hyper Beam, Prism Break. He just keeps looking better and best. One of those things, you know, you don't know that they can really do much more with the character, and then they do. Uh, series 3 there. Series 3 as well for Knockout Tariff. And next up, our two new landers, Scorp, my most anticipated new lander. And then, of course, Slobber Tooth, who you've seen the Dark Edition version. Uh, I realize now we skipped all these swappers. Uh, <laughs> my apologies there. Water element, freeze blade, and of course, wash buckler. Tech element, spy rise and magnet charge. And lastly, doomstone and rubble rouser from the earth element. Middle here highlights a few of the combinations hoot zone, that's hoot loop and blast zone. Wash shake, wash buckler, and rattle shake. Magna bomb, magna charge, and stink bomb. That actually doesn't look too bad. And then Rubble Ranger, of course, that's Rubble Rouser combined with Free Ranger. Fire Element Swappers, Blast Zone, and Fire Crack, and he seems to have quite the fan base already. Uh, Light Core Smolder Dash, Lava Bar for Ruptor, we just briefly showed him. Series 2, Fire Bone Hot Dog. Fire Element New Landers, of course, you got Smolder Dash right before her. We've got Frino, which we've seen in the Booncast episodes. Undead Element. Fittingly, there's one of our heroes of the day, Rattleshake. Other Undead Swapper is going to be Night Shift. Really looking forward to him. 
Light Core from the Undead is a Grim Creeper. Series 3, we've got two. That would be Twin Blade, Chop Chop, and Phantom Center. Coming around over here are Undead New Landers, Roller Brawl, and Grim Creeper. Dropping down to the Life Element, we've got our Swappers Stink Bomb and Gorilla Drilla. Light Core Bumble Blast, Ninja Stealth Elf also has Dark Stealth Elf counterpart. Series 2, Thornhorn Camo. And of course, our New Landers, Zulu and Bumble Blast. Uh, both of those out already. Lastly, we've got the Air Element Free Ranger featured here in the 3DS Starter Pack unboxing. Boom Jet's our other one. Uh, we're really excited for him. Light Core Warnado, three cheers for Warnado fans. Series 3 Horn Blast Whirlwind should be interesting. I think this guy looks great. Series 2 Turbo Jet Pack. Then our two new landers, Popthorn, who hails from the Tower of Time AP, and of course, Scratch. Back side is nothing, it's just blank. Uh, that poster was hard to manage, but again, nothing quite like the Dark Edition Starter Pack poster. Uh, if you wonder what I'm talking about, watch the Dark Edition Starter Pack unboxing. You can skim back towards the end of the video. That poster is massive. Uh, that said, I picked up the 3DS Starter Pack from GameStop. Retail $74.99 plus tax. I, of course, did the pre-order because I got... Skylander Giants Light Core Hex, just in the event she was incredibly hard to find or something crazy like that. Uh, for the record, I've had several people ask me across all platforms about Light Core Hex. I did not see her. Obviously, I didn't see much of anything at Walmart. <laughs> What's uh, GameStop? I don't think had her. They had a lot of stock on everything. I don't recall seeing a peg for her. She could have been in limited quantities or something. Uh, Toys R Us very well could have. I was kind of more concerned about finding Light Core Smolder Dash at that point in time. Target, uh, and my Target doesn't generally be well stocked on Skylanders. Uh, and they had the lowest stock out of all these stores aside from the Walmarts that didn't put anything out. Uh, you can watch Enchanted Hulu's video for some information on that. <laughs> uh, my local Target, which this bodes well for anyone that has like a bigger Target or one that's stocked well, I think they had two of them. Uh, reason I didn't buy it, of course, I knew my, you know, people at GameStop weren't going to give mine out or something, so. Uh, but that is that. That's why I pre-ordered, basically ensured that. Again, I am stoked about this game. Number one, it's totally different from the console version. You got Skylanders on the go. You get, you know, more gameplay out of it, more ways to experience the characters, different storyline. Can't stress that enough. This unboxing can't do justice to all the differences of this. If you're still under the impression this is just a ported version of what you already have with like the Wii U version you see back there, that is wrong. Totally different story, totally different enemies. If you're a fan of the 3DS games, but you're kind of thinking, man, that was, you know, I didn't really get to enjoy it as much because I didn't want to haul all my Skylanders around, never know what the daily bonus is going to be, etc. Fear not, that inventory at the bottom of the screen is killer in addition to accessing them by element. You know, you come in and you can literally just go through your live characters. You can do the swap force characters. You can just, you know, tap literally an arrow on either side and make your combination. So if you just had these two in there, Rattle Shake and Free Ranger, you can pull that up, tap the screen, you go from Rattle Shake to Rattle Ranger, set it up however you want, and go back into the game going to be a huge asset it's going to make this game immensely enjoyable because you have all your options there in my opinion it's actually a little slicker than the console version because you don't have to stop and load and everything don't know about the transition times but uh at e3 a couple of times i paused in and out and switched seemed to be fairly quick i think there was that load screen though but nonetheless the main thing is you don't have to have the portal with you don't have to have the extra characters with you and you do get batteries again only real downside of this 3DS version is it's kind of hard to unbox it, and if that's the only bad thing I have to see, then that thing must be going pretty well. $74.99, I got mine at GameStop. Might be able to find some deals later on. Uh, I don't really envision a price drop until later on. Some stores may do like a knock some percentage off again keep in mind if you've got those free to lay coupons you can use those on your starter packs i actually made my gamestop apply that here uh but that is that you get the skylanders swap force 3ds starter pack brand new mini portal with three AAA batteries there's a look at our game case 
we've of course got the game card right there this is valid for club nintendo so keep that in mind 80 coins right off the bat uh, the characters you get very cool because they're not duplicates of your console starter pack you get rattleshake you get free ranger on the swap force end of things and you get volcanic eruptor in addition to that you get their stat cards sticker sheets web codes you get a real nice poster as well uh that's that i'm excited about it i cannot stress enough if you got burned out on the 3ds games because you like to play on the road and you thought you know i don't really want to take my skylanders risk losing them risk them being stolen you know whatever reason it is huge upgrade here give it a shot uh check it out in the store ask people about it if you have any doubts like I said, while this video edits and uploads, I think I'm going to plug that bad boy in, get a few of the characters going, and uh, have some fun with that. So, uh, if you've got any questions, feel free to ask. I'll do my best to update you, uh, help you out as best I can. Feel free to ask here on YouTube. However, I can't stress this enough. For the quickest response, go to the blog, oneofweezum.com. I'll also have a link there at the top of the video description box. Take you straight to this post. You can follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, circle me on Google+, Plus, whichever you prefer. As always, thanks for watching, and until next time, we will catch you later.